What's up, guys? Welcome back to the weekly with me, Neff. We've got a pretty good broadcast for you guys today. Let's jump right into this thing. First article from The Hollywood Reporter. Peter Jackson working on new Lord of the Rings films for Warner Brothers, targeting 2026 debut. The first film, which will center on the character of Gollum, has Andy Serkis set to star and direct. Interesting. Let's read some more. Warner Brothers has made it official. It will be returning to Middle Earth. On Warner Brothers Discovery's first quarter earnings conference call on Thursday, CEO David Zasloff said that the company is now in the early stages of script development for the new Lord of the Rings movies, which he says they anticipate releasing in 2026 and will explore storylines yet to be told. Let's read a little more into this. I know there's a lot of Lord of the Rings fans out there that are going to like this, especially the fact that we have Peter Jackson back. We've heard mixed reviews about the Rings of Power on Amazon, but I think this is a step in the right direction, and Warner Brothers has been known to let people um, retain their creative control. So I think this is going to be great, but let's keep reading. Zasloff says that director Peter Jackson and his longtime writing partners Fran Walsh and Philippa Boyens will be involved every step of the way. Boyens and Walsh will write the screenplay. The deal covers two films in the franchise. This is a quote. It is an honor and a privilege to travel back to Middle Earth with our good friend and collaborator Andy Serkis, who has unfinished business with that stinker Gollum. Jackson, Boyens, and Walsh said in a statement, As long-life fans of Professor Tolkien's vast mythology, we are proud to be working with WBD Films Chiefs Mike DeLuca, Pam Abdi, and the entire team at Warner Brothers on another epic adventure. So, with that being said, guys, I'm going to leave that article there. I'm going to leave the rest of the article in the description. This is cool stuff, good news. 2026 seems like it's going to be the uh, time frame for when you're going to see some new Lord of the Rings material. So for anybody that is a fan of that, got some good things coming your way. The next article from Variety, The Smashing Machine, First Look. Dwayne Johnson transforms into MMA icon Mark Kerr and Benny Safdie's A24 drama. I thought this article was really cool. It looks like we got The Rock stepping into A24. As you know, on the Popcorn Square, guys, we've mentioned A24 a lot. So it looks like they're expanding upon the people that they're actually getting into their films, which is good for them because it will give the, uh, the production studio more exposure, which is always great. Uh, let me read some more. Dwayne Johnson is nearly unrecognizable in the first look at his upcoming A24 drama, The Smashing Machine, directed by Benny Safdie and co-starring his Jungle Cruise screen partner, Emily Blunt. The film cast Johnson as legendary MMA fighter Mark Kerr, who struggled with addiction and his marriage while becoming an icon of the sport. Blunt is starring as Don Staples, Kerr's wife. The film is currently in production. While Johnson looks typically ripped as Kerr in The Smashing Machine, First look, he also appears to be sporting some facial prosthetics to help him transform into the MMA legend. Kerr was a two-time UFC heavyweight tournament champion and World Veral Tudo championship tournament winner over the course of his career. He won over two dozen MMA titles. So that's a little background on the uh, gentleman that The Rock is playing. Seems like a little interesting story. Um... I don't know, maybe like a biopic in a sense, but I think this is interesting. I think it's more interesting because, like I said, we're seeing Dwayne Johnson step into A24, and I believe we actually talked about Emily Blunt a couple episodes ago, and we actually said we are probably going to see her in an A24 film, so it's very interesting that now everything that we actually uh, talked about is kind of happening and aligning, but yeah, I think that's going to be an interesting story for anybody that uh, wants to watch something like that, and I think it's another uh, a good acting uh, job for The Rock. I think he really gets to expand on his acting ability in this too. So I think it's going to be very interesting. That article is going to be in a link in the description as well, guys. With that being said, that's going to be the two articles that I'm presenting today. Very good articles, good information, stuff to look out for in the future. Um, you know, as always, watch the Popcorn Square podcast. We have another episode dropping on Friday. That's going to be pretty cool. Uh, Mad Max Furiosa coming up this weekend. So we will be talking about that. Be looking out for that. And, uh, you know, like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell for notifications. Always share with a friend. We like to get new viewers in here. We like to hear you chime in on what you think about everything that's going on. Uh, but with that being said, guys, be safe. It's Neff signing off. Later.